So I got this fabric, which is polyurethane on one side, and I don't know what else. Uh, it's PU coated, and I got some valves so that I can make air structures. And this is what when you use an iron and pressure. can weld to stuff for the valves so that I could get uh, pressure around the edges. I made this little jig. So it can lay flat and that I can put a lot of pressure on it. I still think it needs maybe even a little bit more pressure. First I made this. This thing is just a piece of the fabric folded over and then uh, I had to put the valve in first so I put a uh, a reinforcing patch on the inside and then uh, let's see this is the rough shape I uh, ended up making it rounded on the corners just because uh, I thought it would be less stressed out but these valves are pretty cool they have uh, an inner and an outer and a check valve so that you can inflate them. Then I made this. I was trying to do like an overlapping but seam on the side. It didn't quite work out because um, I ended up welding it to itself. I guess I need to put something in there to prevent it from welding it to itself but the idea was to not have one of these seams that you could feel. Also, with cylinders, you gotta keep it pretty straight. And I'm also not quite sure what to do with the ends. I guess I need to make little round end caps and put them in place. Not sure, I'm gonna look at uh, different uh, construction methods to see whether there's something that I can do here for cylinders that's better. Of course, having the valve is maybe not the best thing for something like this. Maybe I would want to put it in the end itself. Hmm. Anyway, that's today's experiments with PU coated, I think nylon.